Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Watts of this News 5 update for you. A wanted man is the man who died during a SWAT situation in the Springs. Police say he was Kyrie Howard Walker, the prime suspect in the shooting spree that killed two people over the weekend. Walker was found dead with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Springs police were tipped off on his whereabouts Tuesday. They surrounded a home on Florence where they say he and Serena Sublet barricaded themselves inside. Police say Sublet surrendered and was arrested. An important message, if you are watching us over the air with an antenna, our signal is about to change. It will become more powerful and more reliable. We want to make sure you're ready and can keep watching News 5, all your favorite NBC shows. So tomorrow, Thursday, February 27th, rescan your TV after 11 in the mor morning. For more information on the change, how to do it, how to get help, head to koaa.com slash rescan. Now here's Mike. Elizabeth, I don't think it's a big stretch to say it was just bone chilling cold around here this morning. Take a look at that. In the springs, we dropped to five degrees, but a great recovery up to 40. Pueblo, the morning low was seven. With that dry air and the sunshine, you managed a high of 46 degrees. Lows tonight, not near as cold as last night. Thankfully, uh, 18 in Pueblo, 19 tonight in Colorado Springs. One of the colder spots will be in the San Luis Valley. Alamosa dropping down to three degrees around here for your Thursday. A little breezy out of the north as a weak disturbance moves across the the state. Those winds anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour, so not too terribly bad. Temperatures, despite that, even warmer than what we had on Wednesday. How about 40s and 50s? And if you like that, I can take you even higher as we work closer into the weekend. Tomorrow, temperatures into the 40s across most parts of northern El Paso County. In Colorado Springs, Friday, great way to launch the weekend will be in the mid 50s. The warmth peaks on Saturday, late Sunday night into Monday. A few rain and snow showers possible. Same deal late Tuesday into Wednesday. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.